I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you can use related to Revit section box. As you can see here, the section box is turned on, visible, selectable. Notice there's an angled wall here. So perhaps we want to rotate this section box to align with that angled wall. If you select the section box and switch to the floor plan view, notice how it's still selected. This is the section box for the 3D view showing up in the 2D plan view. So now with it selected, you can simply click the rotate command. And I actually don't know what that angle is, but if we pretend like we did, we could type it in and hit enter. And then I can even use the move command if I wanted to, to get this perhaps just outside of the building footprint. And now if we go back to the 3D view, you can see there's a nice clean section box alignment and rotation relative to that exterior wall, which might be helpful for a presentation drawing. Of course, back in this floor plan, anytime you click, that selected thing goes away and it's not selectable anymore without going back to the 3D view and doing what we just did a minute ago. Uh, another option is if we right click there's actually a show section box. Notice I'm right clicking on the 3D view in the project browser, not the floor plan. So I'm in a floor plan, but I'm right clicking on another view that has a section box. And when I do that, it selects it. Now, there's another cool trick. If I create a camera view, this is getting off topic slightly from the section box, but I create this camera view and it's called 3D view one. I'm gonna close that all together and expand this. So here's that 3D view one. I'm gonna close it. And then in this plan view again, if I right click, notice how show camera is an option. So now the camera shows up and I can rotate the camera. If I, and if I right click, notice how only show camera shows up. So let's go back to this 3D view for a moment and turn on the section box in the camera view, which actually can help if you're doing Revit renderings. This can save a lot of time hiding stuff that's behind you or on floors above or below. But regardless, this now has a section box enabled. So now back in plan view, if I right click, notice how there's show camera and show section box. So for that said rendering trick, you could make sure that um, the proper amount of information is cropped and, and not too much. In fact, if I were doing a rendering here, I'd probably want the walls behind me to show up so that the mullions and the glass affect the way the light's coming in. And now I go back to the 3D view and that has been applied to that, well not the, this 3D view, but this camera view. That section box, box that I just adjusted has been applied accordingly. So that's my tip for today.